Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mazda CX-5. Uh, these are always extremely popular for us. I think it's because it looks like a big four-wheel drive, but it's not, so they're quite sensibly priced to run, and they've always got really great spec, sort of as standard. I'm going to go around and show you everything I can see in terms of the spec, the features, and all that sort of stuff, and I will draw attention to anything um, bad as well, to be honest. Um, so if there's anything bigger than, say, a stone chip, I'll point it out, I'll say what we're going to do about it or what we're not going to do about it, and then obviously you've got all the information and you can make your own mind up. Um, not that it's littered with bad things, that sounds worse than it is, but I'm going to take you around and show you everything so you get a balanced view. Uh, deep crystal blue metallic, so like a dark metallic navy blue basically. Xenon headlights that you can see there, front parking sensors, and just down there, very tiny, but front fog lights. Uh, the newer shaped one with the bigger grille, you can quite easy to see the difference. Uh, we've got one. That's the older shaped one just over there. So, sort of detour. So that's what the older shaped one looks like. Um, here's the newer one. Quite a bit more modern looking in my opinion. Anyway, right, back to the video. Great big 19 inch alloys. Um, twin colour things. They lacquer the silver sections and uh, the dreaded white worm gets underneath it, water gets underneath and creates a bubbling effect. These aren't too badly affected, there's a couple of little patches on each wheel I'd say. But I'll show you each one close up so you can see it for yourself. Indicators built into the wing mirrors. The roof's all good. Sensors in there for rain sensing wipers and whatnot. Uh, keyless entry and go system so you can lock and unlock via this button. There's one on the tailgate and one on the passenger side as well. That wheel probably a bit worse than the front one. I can see there, there and there. But overall, not worth a refurb in my opinion. Depends what you like when it's your car, I suppose. Uh, spoiler with the high level brake light built in. It's got the shark fin aerial up there. Rear parking sensors as well. A couple of little scuffs from getting bits in and out of the boot. Now I am gonna touch and polish these up, but I just wanted you to see them as it is raw, so if you're having the car delivered, for instance, you wouldn't be shocked to see a touch in on the, on the rear bumper there. Not bad at all, we'll get to those and it will look a lot better. But I just like to be upfront about these things. Electric tailgate, so you just press the button and it comes up for you. If I can reach up there, there's a the rear view camera and the locking buttons there as well. That's the button when we want to close the boot in a minute. Uh, they don't have a parcel shelf as such, it's this like extending blind, but that is present. 12 volt point over this side. Now this was really difficult for me to get up with two hands, let alone one, so I, I shall try for the sake of the video. Oh, here we are, I've managed it. Pinch my finger, but I've managed it. Uh, subwoofer for the Bose audio. Locking wheel nut is in there. Inflation kit's there. And then you've got some tools dotted about. Toe and eyes as well. Okay, close that back down. Twin exhaust pipes down the bottom there as well. That wheel, probably the least affected. A little bit there, and on the black section there, a little curb mark, which again I will touch in. Colour matches all good, gaps are all good. It's HPI clear. I can't spot any signs of poor previous paintwork. And that wheel has hardly anything. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the best of the lot actually. Right. Uh, any stone chips? A couple of minor stone chips on the bonnet. Nothing too bad at all. Right, inside now we'll start at the back. Uh, privacy glass on the windows, electric windows of course, child locks here, black leather with like this copper coloured stitching, you'll see it better in the pictures probably than you will in the video. Isofix points for the two outer rear seats, if you're not using the middle one you've got this fold down armrest cup holders, storage area and I'll leave that open to show you the USBs from the other side when we get there. Grey headlining, all clean and tidy, 
magazine holders in the back of the seats and separate heating vents there as well. Show you this from the other side, like a grey wood grain veneer on the doors as well. All three headrests present and you've got two USBs. Uh, it's got a little power symbol there with uh, 2.1 amps, so I assume that is chargers as well, which is useful. Obviously, if you're not using that and you need to use the middle seat, it goes like so. Loads of legroom, though, really nice sized vehicle. This onto the front passenger side, same again, electric windows with the grey wood, Bose audio. Passenger gets an electric seat as well. Not memory though, the driver has memory. This one is just uh, electrically adjustable. Airbags built into the side of the seats. Really nice chunky sort of sporty looking seats. Airbag up here. Owner's manuals, etc. I'll include a picture of that all spread out so you can see exactly what's there. Onto the driver's side where we shall finish off. Electric windows all round, which you can lock from here. Electric mirrors, power folding. The one flaw of Mazda's of late that I've noticed is power folding mirrors. One of these works, one doesn't. Driver's one works, passenger's one doesn't. It folds a little bit and then it stops. I can't get involved in these. We've spent so much money over the years on what is like a vanity item, in my opinion. It doesn't affect the running of the car. So I'm just letting you know up front, that one works. That one doesn't, it's inevitably just a replacement wing mirror off eBay. Uh, right, driver's side, as I said, gets an electric seat as well, which has memory settings, and you also get lumbar support over here on the driver's side, which you didn't previously get, not previously, you didn't get over there on the passenger side. Uh, bonnet release and fuel cap release, stop start, traction control, parking sensors, and tailgate release all here. It's a bit dusty just from me getting in and out. That'll obviously be tidied up. I'll try and find a set of mats as well. Doesn't look like any came in with this one. I'll get in to show you the rest. There's the miles. If you're having trouble reading that, because it's quite small. 93,045 miles. Auto wipers. Auto lights. Multi-function leather steering wheel. Phone buttons. Audio buttons. Cruise control. And it's got the voice module. If you press in the middle of the, the volume button, I'll show you quickly. Cancel. That's how that works. Obviously you can do more than cancel it, but have a read through the owner's manual for that one. Uh, widescreen sort of nav set up. Um, it is touchscreen, or you can use this dial down here. Uh, this is probably easier for me with one hand to use the dial. So communication, that's where you link up your phone. This is going to look like it's fading in and out. It doesn't. It's just a refresh rate difference between my camera and the screen. So there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, nav there, which you've already seen. Then there's various settings for the car. I'm going to the entertainment one. You can see it's got DAB radio. It's also got FM, AM. Um, if you subscribe to Stitcher or Aha, you can link that up. Um, and you've got uh, Bluetooth and all the various USB sockets around the car. There's other bits that you can go into, apps and maintenance and that sort of stuff. I'll include some pictures of the more in-depth sort of stuff, but it gets a bit talky for the video. Uh, disc slot there, heated seats, heated steering wheel, which I've got on, and that is surpri uh, surprisingly effective. Very hot there. So that's all that. Uh, stop start button for the engine, if I haven't already mentioned it. Dual zone climate control. Got a 12 volt point down there. Two keys, both original Mazda smart keys. Like I say, this has just got to be in your pocket, handbag or whatever. You can lock, unlock the car, stop and start it without having to get the keys out. Six speed manual gearbox. This is the shortcut buttons and the radio volume control. That's the ones I was using just now. You can go straight to the entertainment, straight to the nav, that sort of stuff. Electronic parking brake with the auto hold. Two cup holders, big arm rest, inside which is 12 volt auxiliary another two usbs and the sd card slot which i believe runs the sat nav airbags up here illuminated vanity mirrors 
interior lighting, sunglass holder, and auto dimming rear view mirror. And that is everything I can spot. It's got tons of specs. I've probably missed something. If I have that you're interested in seeing, give me a shout and I'll pop out and check it for you straight away. I would include as many pictures as possible of the interior, the exterior, and the paperwork. Along with this video, the idea is to give you the experience of being at the site without having to come down to the site. Started during COVID basically doing this sort of advertising because people couldn't come here and now it's convenient for people not to come here. So if you want to buy the vehicle on the strength of this, phone us up, leave a small deposit. We'll deliver the car to you. If you like it, you take ownership. If you don't, we bring it back. It's risk free. So give us a call and we'll explain a bit more about how that works if that's something you're looking to do. Obviously, if you're looking in the traditional sense, here we are, main road car site in Gosport, accessible seven days a week, loads and loads of stuff to look at. So if you're browsing, pop in any time. If you're serious about one car in particular and you're looking to get inside, give it a good test out, you know, drive it and all that sort of stuff, please do make an appointment first. We're a very small two-man team, often one of us here at time, and we can be out picking up cars and things like that. So I'd hate for you to waste a journey over and no one's here to accommodate you. So it is important to please phone ahead one last thing i forgot which i don't know how well that's going to video this is a heads up display it doesn't video at all <laughs> i can see here bizarre actually it's like an illusion um it gives me the speed and the current speed limit and that projects from here onto the screen but doesn't appear at all oh you can just about see it if i get it at that angle look on that black part of the van there's the zero and up on the where the wheel arch is is the uh, speed limit obviously we're off the road so that one doesn't show up at the minute but that's that uh right anyway yes that's everything i've got to say so thank you very much for watching